Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and I'm going to show you real quick how to connect a pigtail to a standard uh, serial device. In this case, it's going to be a Cisco router. Uh, so over here on the right, I have a Cisco 1841, and the pigtail, it's already turned on, and it's connected via standard serial cable, uh, serial console cable to the, uh, to the Cisco device. So we're going to open up the um, PT terminal application. And you can see that it's discovered the pigtail there. Click on that. And right up here you see PT Hello. Uh, so that came from the pigtail. That means we're connected. And it also tells you up there that we're connected. Uh, so the pigtail ships with the baud rate set to 4800, which is standard for amateur radios, but not for Cisco devices. So we need to reconfigure the Wi-Fi module in the pigtail to talk to the router. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go into command mode and we're going to send three dollar signs to the pigtail. So we just uh, put the cursor in this field up here, type in three dollar signs and hit the return key and you'll see that it says CMD there, meaning we're in command mode. If you hit enter it'll, it'll give you a little prompt. So let's see what the UART is right now. We're going to do git space UART. And you can see right here that baud rate is set to 4800. We want to change that to 9600. So let's do set UART baud 9600. Hit enter. And I have a typo. Set UART baud 9600. It says AOK. -okay. Save. Reboot, and we'll get disconnected when it reboots because we're connected via TCP to it. So we'll go back and reconnect. It says PT hello there, and I'm going to turn on the router, and there we go. All right, it's booted up, so let's uh, hit enter a couple times here, and it's already uh, privilege 15 set up. So that's how you um, connect a pigtail to a Cisco device, and whenever you want to set it back to 4800 for a radio, or if you want to connect it to something else at a different baud rate, just hit the dollar sign three times, set UART baud, save and reboot, and you're all set.